Good afternoon, viewers. Today, we are going to be looking at a particular subject, which is social studies. And we are going to be listening to this topic in series. So we are starting with the first series, and it has to do with law for GSS-3. Now, I want to see the meaning of love. I want to see the meaning of love. Love refers to a warm feeling of affection towards oneself and others. It involves showing affection and concern for oneself and other people. Here we like you to understand that loving yourself is not a bad thing. It is a normal thing for individual as a citizen of a country to show love and with this, it will now extend to others. Now, there are ways of expressing love. Number one way of expressing love is through caring. Caring. When you care for others, it shows that you really love them. Also, sharing. You share your ideas, what you know, with other people with other students in the class, you show caring by expressing your ideas, assisting them in one way or the other. Also, through visitation. By visitation, for example, during holidays, it is good to know where your friend is living or maybe your friend is not feeling fine and is being hospitalized. It is a good thing to visit your friend in the hospital. Another way of expressing love is through showing respect. You respect your friends. You respect your, your classmates. For instance, maybe you are asked to do a particular topic and you do not understand or your friend do not understand. And you, you, are, you, you understand that particular topic. By so doing, you can assist your friend, explain to your friend the meaning of simultaneous equation. When you do this, it is a personal thing. It's not something you now go behind your friend and begin to say a lot of things about your friend. But when you do that, it shows that you are respecting your friend by explaining that particular topic. Also, through exchange of gifts, for instance, your friend is celebrating his or her birthday. You can get your friend a card. You can just write to my friend. We wish you long life. You are a nice person. You at least express that truly you care and you love your friend. Also, our parents that are already married, when they are celebrating their wedding anniversary, you can at least show concern for them by telling mommy congratulations on your wedding anniversary. And if possible, from your savings, you can get mommy or daddy a small gift that will not cost you much to appreciate and to really show that you are showing love to your parents then we can as well render assistance. For example, financial assistance or academic assistance. These are ways that students, citizens, show or express loving behavior. Then we would like to know types of love. You see, as a student, we often mistake some types of love to others. For example, infatuation. Infatuation is common in the school, and we tend to think that it's love. Infatuation is not love. But as we go on in this series, you get to understand better what love is all about. But before I start explaining the different types of love, I would like to first of all list the types of love. 
And after listing the types of love, then I will explain it one after the other. The first type of love is self-love. Then we have friendship love, comfortable love, romantic love, infatuation, complete love, cupboard love, platonic love, and agape love. Now let me start by explaining the different types of love. I'm starting with self-love. What is the meaning of self-love? It is the affection that a person has for himself or herself. Self-love does not mean selfishness. Never allow anybody to intimidate you when you love yourself. When you love yourself, it's simply because you value your family expectations. Every family has their own values. When you love yourself, you don't want to spoil your family image. When you love yourself, you don't want to spoil your family name. And that is what self-love is all about. It is the affection that a person has for himself or herself. When you love yourself, you take care of yourself. When you love yourself, you take care of your belongings. When you love yourself, you take care of everything that has to do with you. So do not let anybody think you are selfish. You are not. You are just trying to maintain your family values. The second type of love is friendship love. Under friendship love, it has to do with affection that friends have for each other. It is good that you love your friend. It is good that you show concern for your friend. So when you meet a new classmate and you are extending love to your classmates, it's simply friendship love. And this will also make you to enjoy your staying together. You'll be able to tolerate yourself and you'll be able to do things in common. And this leads us to comfortable love. Under comfortable love, it is the affection that exists between parents and children. You see, our parents, they love us. And that's the reason why they care for us. They ensure that things are going well for us. When your parents send you to good school, it's simply because they are trying to take care of your future. They want you to be somebody important. They want to become the president, the governor, and they want you to be relevant in the society. And that's the reason why they show love to us. And this has to do with strong level of caring, protection, loyalty. You see, all these are the characteristics of the love that our parents have for us. And we as students, we need not to take it for granted. You don't say, my daddy loves me, my mommy loves me, so I can do what I like. No, you need not to do that. Because if you are saying that, that means you don't value them. And that is the reason why you see a lot of children roaming about the street, simply because nobody is caring for them. Nobody is taking care of them. So you that you have this opportunity, understand that is comfortable love. That is, your parents shows love to ensure that you become something important in the future. And this takes us to romantic love. Romantic love is the affection between a male and a female, which is basically involves the feeling of happiness, togetherness, and sexual desire. Fine. By the time you finish your university education and you start working, then you as well, you will start expressing romantic love. But presently, that is what brought our dad and our mom together. It's romantic love that makes us to be alive today. If your dad and your mom do not come together, they will not experience what we call romantic love. Then that will take us to infatuation. And this is the one that is common among the students. It is an extreme, temporary, and irrational sexual feeling which a person has for someone at first sight or through physical attraction. 
this fake love relationship usually ends quickly due to distance frequent quarrel you see when you see somebody for the very first time in school you may be attracted to that person that does not mean you love that person so you must not mistake infatuation to be love infatuation is a fake love because it ends quickly because other person too can be attracted to that person then you will now want to be protecting your fellow student unnecessarily it's simply because you have been feeling infatuation if truly you love you will take your time to allow the understanding the maturity but because it is, it is infatuation so you will think that you love you don't actually love so you need to be careful so that you not make mistake when you are having this feeling of infatuation thinking that you love and that is another way that students will be quarreling unnecessarily they will be fighting with one another simply because of a, a girl in the class so take note that that is infatuation then we go to complete love complete love complete love has to do with very strong feeling of affection which is unconditional and total in practice it does not necessarily involve sexual intercourse it takes time to develop this is another stage of love here you want to assist especially is common among the youths they want to help one another they want to help them do certain things just for them to understand what they are doing and making them to be a good citizen so it is another stage of love then we have cupboard love now under cupboard love cupboard love is a sudden and extremely friendly behavior of one person to another in order to get what they want you see sometimes some people are very funny because they need to get something from you they will pretend that they love you but as soon as they get maybe money or they want you to help them do something then you see that they will not love you again they will not behave well to you again is simply known as cupboard love and that takes us to platonic love platonic love is a special friendship between a male and a female which is based on god's love and does not involve sexual relations you see as we are going through these different stages of love i want you to understand so that anytime you are having a feelings you should know exactly what is happening to you so platonic love is a special friendship you are you are attracted to this person you like that person and you show concern for that person and everything will be going fine as expected then we now have agape love under agape love under agape love it is a warm feeling it is a warm feeling of affection that is completely selfless and spiritual it is based on god's love and does not involve sexual relation does not involve sexual relation it exists among members of the same sex and between males and females this is the type of love that god wants us to express for one another and to make our society a better place note sexual feelings and romantic affections are not mis are often mistakenly regarded as love by many young people they tend to understand the meaning of love better when they attain maturity as you grow you will get to understand what love is really about so you should not make a mistake when you are attracted to somebody when you are having that feeling that you want to have sex with somebody that you love that person you don't actually love but you tend to understand what love is all about as you grow i would like to stop here for the first series um watch out for this others for the second series thank you for listening and i really appreciate that you understand what love is all about in the next series 
will make further explanation on 